Hi there, welcome back to this channel. If you have not already, do well to subscribe to the channel. And let's solve this, let's attempt this math Olympiad question. Um, quickly before you go into it, um, um, the Formula Capricorn channel is a channel where you build your foundation, you build a good foundation for yourself in science generally, especially in math, physics, and chemistry. So if you're having any troubles with that, do well, you are in the right place. So do well subscribe to the channel and share content with your friends. And anything we do here, the best way to help yourself is to actually extend to someone in by way of teaching it. Is that okay? So when you teach it to someone, you tend to want to understand it better, right? In fact, you understand it better because in fact you're going to be beginning to you're going to be beginning to, to delve into aspects that you I mean or see the part of that thing that you've not understood. So that is the the, the essence of teaching it to someone else. Right, so if you have not already, I join you again, subscribe to the channel, and let's take the channel to 1 million subscribers. All right, so here we have x raised to power 16 is equal to 81. So it's very simple. Uh, what we want to do is the first, let's bring this guy here so that it becomes x raised to power 16 minus 81 is equal to 0. Okay, from here it becomes simple, right? So what do we do? Remember the difference of two squares? a squared minus b squared is equal to what? a plus b and what? a minus b. All right, so here, we are going to turn into different of two squares. It becomes a x raised to the power 8 all squared minus 9 raised to the power 2 all squared is equal to 0. Keeping this, this, keeping in mind that a raised to the power m or is by n is equal to a raised to the power m a, right? All right, so remember that rule of indices. If you don't remember it, I'm going to link the video of indices in the description. All right, so this is going to become, so since we have broken this down into that format, it means that this, our, what we essentially have is essentially x raised to power 8 plus 9 and x raised to power 8 minus 9. So that's the difference of 2 squared that we had there. All of this will give us zero. All right. So seeing this, let's hold this. Now we can hold this, but this can still be simplified because we can get another difference of two squares from here. So this x to the power eight minus nine becomes x to the power four all squared minus three squared again. So that is another difference of squared, right? Difference of two squared, and this becomes what x again raised to the power four plus three now. And x is to the power 4 minus 3. All right, so this is going to be replaced by this. Both of that. Both of those, rather. So we have x to the power 8 plus 9 is equal to x plus 3. x to the power 4 plus 3. Open bracket. I mean, open bracket. Oh, sorry. It's not equal to. Because this is replacing this. This is the product. The product of this guy and this guy. And x to the power 4 minus 3. All right, is equal to zero. Okay, so what can we do further? Um, we can now. Okay, yes. Now, keep in keep in mind that um, the thumbnail video says that that our x, the particular x we are looking for, is a real number. So since it's a is a member of real number, right? Real number. So since it's a real number, um, if we express this thing, because this is an even number power. If this, if the product of these three is zero, definitely z is by eight plus nine is zero, or x is by four plus three is zero, or x is by four minus three is zero. Now, if x by eight was zero here, then it means that x by eight must be equal to what? Negative nine. Now, seeing this, this will not give us a real number. This will give us a complex number because it has, it has an even number root. So um, it means that if it has an even number root, it means that we can't take the square root and not have a complex number. And same goes for this. So this will not give us real number answers. So this is the number that can give us real number answers. So we go for that to saying that this minus 3 is equal to 0, and we have x to the power 4 is equal to um, 3. And then we now, from here, take the fourth power. That is 1 over 4 times first power. 1 over 4, um, so that this takes care of this, and x will be equal to what? 3 to the 1 over 4. So x, therefore, becomes the fourth root of 3. 
and x is equal to one point something. Yes, spot it. Yes, spot it to be one point something. Let's use the calculator for that. Uh, let me see if it's going to display. That is um, fourth root. That is fourth root a square root. Uh, the fourth root of four. Oh, okay, I found it. I found it. <laughs> because it, this becomes the four. Shift, shift this, uh -huh. shift this. I, I clicked, I clicked, um, I typed, um, I, I pressed shift and then I pressed um, this guy, where is it? This guy, yes. So then that's fourth root. I typed four now. This focus, focus, focus. Then the moving side and three, right? So that becomes one point, yes, one point three one six. Right. One point ah, three one six. So and that becomes our approximate answer, All right? So we can try that. Um, if we raise one point three one six to the power of sixteen, let's see if we we'll get eighty one. One point three one six. So answer, so since we got this, that the answer raised to the power of what, 16, 1 and 6. Look, focus, 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 is equal to 81. Whoa, all right. So that will be for this video. The next video we are going to uh, just make sure you are subscribed to the channel because I'm going to be dropping videos on physics and maths and chemistry so so that you miss out and those of you that are writing jam this is just a channel for you to really understand science and ace your jam well god bless you as you subscribe to the channel see you in the next video